Hi, welcome back. Today we are going to test the power output of the Anytone 6666 Pro 10, 11, 12, 15 meter radio. And we're going to test AM, FM, upper and lower sideband and see what kind of power we can get out of this radio. Now I don't have an expensive meter like the bird meter to really you know get a real accurate reading of the power output of this radio but of all my meters that i do have this old radio shack one i think it's from the early mid 80s that i picked out a rummage cell for 30 dollars it is by far the most accurate of all the meters i've had and we're going to be looking at the watt output here on this particular meter, you can switch it between 550 and 500 watt scale. And over here, we have a dummy load hooked up to the end of the antenna that comes out of the radio. It's rated for 50 watts, but I'm pretty confident it can take short bursts of probably up to 100 watts or so. Now, according to the manual here, the power output is going to be around 80 watts AM PEP. FM is going to be around 50 watts. And sideband is going to be around 80 watts PEP. Now, on AM, I would imagine that's swinging up to around 80 watts. My meter won't show it swinging up to there. But from what I've read or what I've seen in other videos, AM should be around 30 watts when we dead key the microphone. We have the radio set on 10 meters at 28.3, which is right above the beacons. And I'm not worried about interfering with anything since I have it hooked up to a dummy load. And let's go ahead and test it and see what kind of power we get. So I think we'll start with, let's start with FM. And according to our book on FM, we should get 50 watts of power. So we'll go ahead and key the mic and let's look up at our meter here and let's actually put it on the 50 watt scale and we're getting right around 50 watts if we look at the SWR on our radio we're getting 1.1 on the dummy scale I'm curious what we get on here I have calibrated it well maybe I have it let's try calibrating it All right, let's try it now and see if this meter gets around the same. Pretty close, around 1.1. It pretty much matches the radio down here. All right, so again, we got 50 watts on FM. All right, let's put it on AM. And let's go ahead. Our SWR is 1.1. Let's see what our watts are. You don't really, this really doesn't show any swing in the watts on AM, but we're getting around pretty close to 30 watts, which is where um, the specs show it should be. And let's go ahead and put it on upper sideband go ahead and we're going to have to change the scale to 500 watts because I know what it swings to. And the book said we should get around 80 watts, yeah, no, uh, 80 watts pep on sideband. So we're on upper sideband. 
So it looks like looks like we might be getting getting around 110, 120. And let's go ahead and try lower sideband. And again, it looks like we might be getting around 110, uh, yeah, probably about 110 um, pep on, what were we on? On lower sideband. All right, to review again, on AM we were getting around 30 watts, dead keying it. On FM we were getting 50 watts. And on sideband we were getting a swing of around... Uh, a pep of around 110 watts. So that's um, sideband, at least according to my meter here. And I've heard this from other um, people that own this radio, that sideband, you get uh, more power than it's advertised. So we're getting, like I said, close to 110 watts showing there. So there you have it, a fairly quick test of how much output this radio does. It's pretty much uh, spot on on AM and FM, and it looks like we get a pretty good bump from what's advertised in the manual on sideband. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.